Hi everyone, this is A Touch of Tarot and it's going to be a special reading here. I'm looking into a bit of a continued message from last week's Friday Oh Boy reading where it looked like the karmic had gotten a tarot reading. So I'm looking to see what the tarot reader told the karmic and what brought the karmic in for that reading specifically that time because I think that the karmic has actually been getting a few readings. So let's see what's going on with this message. The moon card is the first card. So I'm asking what brought the karmic to a tarot reader to get a reading. The karmic is feeling the fact that yes, there are secrets going on in the relationship. Look at that. Death card at the bottom. The karmic is probably trying to you know, take actions before this situation fully ends. The karmic feels it in her blood, feels it in her bones. Hearing that song, I feel it in my bones. Um, it's a Russian song. I don't know if anyone's Russian or that any karmics are Russian. But yeah, so the karmic went to the tarot reader because deep inside, this karmic is definitely sensing that there's secrets, there's untold things happening here, uh, lies, probably deceit. Maybe the karmic feels left in the dark and possibly also feels like the masculine or whoever your person is, is on the verge of leaving, but hasn't quite left yet. So it looks like the karmic is trying to slow this down or save, save some time here. Okay, let's see what's coming up. So let's get one more card for why the karmic went to the tarot reader this time. Okay, what was it? The Empress, yeah. So the karmic is no longer being treated the way she once was. I'm going to call the karmic a female for ease um, on my behalf. You guys can discern what's the gender. But the karmic is feeling depleted. This empress in this deck is obviously someone who was high vibe at one point, but no longer feeling good. The emperor is a total different vibe in this deck. The emperor is ready to go. Um, healthy moving forward. The Empress has used all of her energy on doing things that didn't serve her, therefore draining herself. So the karmic doesn't know what to do anymore. She knows she's caught in a situation where the person she's dealing with wants to leave, wants to exit. And, you know, time is running out with the Wheel of Fortune here at the top of the deck. So we got three major arcanas here. Something serious has definitely happened that the karma can no longer deny. And this is why she has gone to a tarot reader, okay? So let's see what the tarot reader told the karmic. Give me a moment to just get into this. Be quiet for a minute here. What the tarot reader told the karmic, what the tarot reader picked up for the karmic, okay? So I may um, be speaking to the karmic here, okay? Okay, let's see what's coming up. I feel like the tarot reader definitely cut the deck to get the first energy, the Knight of Coins. So you, this person has made an offer, a gesture to someone else. This person is going... Um, towards somebody else and planning, preparing to have a stable situation with them, planning to leave the home to do that. Um, this person is getting ready to divide their assets or to figure out how they're going to be able to separate this financially um, and move in the direction of a new situation. The other person, the one that the karmic is inquiring about, two of spears, four of wands, so obviously it's very noticeable that this person is not staying in the home, um, you know, flying. Maybe this person says that they're busy. The Empress energy here is definitely watching this person go elsewhere or feeling this person's absence. Um, I'm going to talk like I'm speaking to the karmic here. Okay, guys, let me just go into this. So you know that your person has been going somewhere else and it looks like this person is going to someone they have a very strong connection with, to someone who they want to settle down with, they want to build a future with. I can see here clearly that you definitely have felt this 
possibly within the last two months, two weeks, two days, um, this person may have left and this is why you're here to get a reading. You know that they're going to another situation. You know they want to be elsewhere. This person has left you alone quite a bit off uh, as of recent to go to this other connection. Tell us more about this other connection, please. Knight of Cups coming out here in reverse. So I feel like this person is not giving love to you, to be honest. This person may be staying in the situation with you right now because there's a child involved. Um, I do see very clearly that this person is ready to leave this connection with you. I feel like there's been a lot of arguments and fighting. I do feel like you feel very alone and like you're losing something that you want. This person may be giving you small amounts of money or just small help, not really being there for you, not really, I'm getting short sentences here, you know, not really getting into deep conversations with you at this time, because this person may be trying to cause an argument with you right now so that they have a reason to leave the connection you've been in with them. I see that you're actually offering a lot of loving gestures or trying to um, conversate with this person. But to be honest, what I'm seeing in the cards right now is this person is trying to detach and end this connection, the devil and the hierophant. This person is no longer, and this is the card that wants to fall out, the hierophant, no longer wanting to give a love tension, affection to this connection that you are in with them. In fact, this person may be looking for um, help, legal, legal help to get out. And the reason being I see is that this person wants to be elsewhere. Okay. Let's get one more card and then I'm going to ask how this person feels about you. And yeah, so we have the full card. So this person is definitely Wanting to leave, I see that this person is also sneaking around and hiding things from you. I also see that you are quite aware of all of this and you know what's going on. And this person is scared to be honest with you. Why is this person scared to be honest with you? Okay, so the Nine of Spears. So the reason this person is scared, to be honest with you, that they do want to leave, Eight of Cups, Nine of Spears, uh, clearly there's a lot of people in your community that know of this connection that you have either worked with or gathered with, uh, went to parties with, have memories with. Um, this person is scared to be honest with you and also to leave this situation because they would be leaving a large group of people behind and going on their own. They would no longer get the affection, cheering. I'm getting this cheering energy, like a lot of fun energy, this person, like a community energy. They would no longer get the communal support that they had at one point. In fact, this person may actually be afraid that either friends, family, colleagues would turn on them. So this has been part of the reason this person has chosen, your your person has chosen to not make a quick move, to sneak behind your back. This person is actually, for some, building a whole other life or ready to build a whole other life with someone they feel a very strong connection with. This could be their twin flame. This could be their soulmate. Okay person is preparing to leave. So this person is being very smart. Um, this person is messaging the other person secretly in the dark, hiding it. So it cannot be used against them. So if you were to check this person's phone, emails, you may actually find evidence, but it also looks as though this person may have a block or locks on their phone. If you once had their codes and access to, you know, their devices, I do feel that this person has changed the codes. They've 
pushed you out, blocked you out because they know that you, maybe they don't fully know. This person may not fully know that you know that they are cheating or they have moved on. Um, but they know that you are smart and that you are able and capable to find things out, okay? Um, so this person, I'm going to tell you, has no love in this situation anymore, in this connection. But this person does feel a responsibility. They do feel like they are the provider, the caregiver, So when this person is home with you, I feel like they're quite absent and that they just care that they're taking care of the bills, the mortgage, the rent, um, the food they're providing in those ways or giving you the finances to take care of that. And that's what they feel their job is. Okay. When it comes to the connection here, this person wants out. We have the death card and the devil showing up again under the Hierophant. Um, this person wants out. This person is being very sneaky. I have to say that to you, to the karmic. You're not seeing everything. This person may cause a lot of arguments to have a reason to leave. This person... You know, I'm sorry to say, but this situation is bringing out a, a dark side of this person because they're not being honest with you that they want to leave and be elsewhere in this twin flame, like four of wands energy. You've definitely witnessed this person leaving very sneakily, maybe even causing an argument to leave. That's part of the trickery. That's part of um, making an illusion that, you know, so you don't look into it. But I do feel like you're seeing the truth, the sun and the moon. So there's definitely ace of cups and ace of coins are showing up here. I do feel that that's relevant because I feel that you have a position in your or a status, I should say, with your community, with your people. This goes back to that energy. I do feel like this person works with a lot of people. Um, in this community or makes money in that way, or it's just very attached for reasons, maybe celebratory reasons, maybe you've all gone through a lot and financial reasons. So that's very interesting coming up. This person has been honored or celebrated in some way by a group of people, okay? And this is who they would be walking away from. And this is part of the reason they're hesitant you know, to have this ending, I'm seeing the world stick out, to go on their own, it would literally be going on their own. Here we go, the star card. I do feel that there's someone waiting for this person, it could be an air sign, here's the nine of coins, um, it looks like it's a female energy that takes care of themselves, independent, and this female seems to have a strong hold on this person, on your person, on your husband or soon to be ex-husband. And I see that the female here is very patient, patiently waiting. Let's get another card on the female that this person is going towards. Okay, who's your person going towards? Tell us more. We have the star card here. So this is someone who's very patient, caring, loving, waiting for this return, plain and simple, from your person, your emperor, um, emperor energy here. Tell us more about this person. The car or the other person, the other woman, let's call it the other woman. We have judgment. This is where this person wants to go. There's something here, King of Cups. This person, I think, is in love, it, even if it's lust or whatever it may be. Uh, this person wants to go there and have another chance. I feel like this person feels as though they failed with your life and your situation that you've built together. Um, and this person is looking for a fresh opportunity with someone who they really care about. And once again, we have the nine of pentacles, um, that female energy, that single, independent, not needy as well, patient energy here. The female that this person is going towards, it looks like they describe them as someone who's very strong, who's very worldly. Um, okay. 
So how is this person feeling about you to the karmic? How is this person feeling about you? The four of swords and the three of swords. So there's definitely been and the traitor. Okay, so what I get here, um, the way this person is feeling about you is, you know, there's been some sort of a rough time between the two of you. Maybe the last four years have been quite rough. This person doesn't want to work this out anymore. Okay, the four of swords to the three of swords. It's not like it's getting any better. And the fact that the card of the traitor came out here, um, you may have done something, Miss Karmic, to deceive this person, and they cannot forgive you about this any longer. They cannot forgive you for this any longer. That's why the Wheel of Fortune is here. This time has kind of run its course here. I do feel that this person tried to work things out or tried to um, step aside. And by the looks of it, it looks like when this person tried to separate themselves from whatever happened with you two, this is when they met the person that they fell in love with, that they want to go to. Let's get a card from here and see what shows up about the traitor. Please tell us about the traitor energy. We got two here. Yeah, it really does look as though... So it's almost like a priest energy or, or some sort of a committal energy here, church energy. Maybe people were talking behind this person's back or too much came out. <coughs> Sorry. Possibly you cheated on someone or did you cheat with someone in the community, possibly? Maybe you went to visit someone and this person, uh, maybe it's this person's enemy. Um, and they cannot forgive for that anymore. They're very angered by that, and they have given it a lot of thought. You may have told this person to go. I don't know if that happened, and they took it to heart. Let's get another card here. Wow, really interesting. So you get the air magic here. Um, but this is about overthinking, an overthinking masculine who is looking in a different direction. There's something else that caught their eye during this time where they felt betrayed uh, by you, where they felt like you were the traitor. And it looks like they got drawn towards that other situation or that other person. Look at that. You know, after an ending, this is Ten of Swords, they started looking in a new direction, maybe researching new possibilities because this person gave up by the looks of it with the four of swords to the three of swords. It's like they were trying to heal, but then they met someone new in this time and they just couldn't forgive you for whatever it is that you did. So ma'am, karmic, miss karmic, the reason this person is going um, is because they can no longer come back to this situation with love. There is no more love here for this situation this is part of the reason this person wants to leave. If anything, this person feels obligated to financially support you and your children or family. But there is a, a love elsewhere. There is someone elsewhere. This beautiful, well, this nine of coins energy where this person is being drawn towards. And I think that they are ready. This person is ready to... Well, there you go, to heal and to move forward into a new beginning, into a new situation. Yeah, drop it all just to be there. And I feel like this is the way the cards should be. So this person is seeing the light. Unfortunately, Miss Karmic, it's not with you. Bye for now. Thank you very much.